The one, two, swing and a miss. Back to back strikeouts for Kamar Rocker. As much as you can. Strikes out the side. Kamar Rocker comes back out. Had to wait through. The no batting gloves, very blue collar type of player. But gets rung up on a curveball on the outside. Called strike three. Five combined strikeouts in the first inning for these two aces. On that slider. Just looks like a fastball coming in there, and there's another one. Four strikeouts for Kamar Rocker through two innings. One two pitch from Jake Schrand. Strike three. Back to back strikeouts of Rodriguez and Thomas for last year at third base, and that's most of them. They only played 18. Drives the 1 0 into the left center field gap for the first hit of the year for Vandy. Alders gets it back in, holds Nolan to a single. Great the last two off seasons. Lines this one. Deep to right center field and down for extra bases. Tate Colwick delivers for the Commodores. And it's a 1-0 game. 2-0 pitch. Line down the right field line and fair for another extra base hit. Three straight hits for the Commodores and it's 2-0 Vandy. Another 1-2 to Jason Gonzalez. Strike three. Tran stands another on third. We really facilitate, you know, being able to replicate those pitches a little bit better as well. Five strikeouts through the first eight hitter. In before, but he had it. Make it six strikeouts through the first nine. Chop towards Colwick, waits back on it, takes his time and gets the out. Infield, the outfield was still covered in snow. Exactly. Rodriguez pops this one up. Schrand's called off by Gehrig Anglin, and it's a 1-2-3. Two, the 2-2. Two, two. Struck him out on the swing, they say. At third base, the anchor of this lineup. Lines this one out to right field. And over Thomas's head for the first right state hit. Hard hit double by Tyler Black for the first hit against Kamar Rocker this season. One, two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Fastball at the letters, and Rocker strikes out his eighth right state batter. So some guys probably on some pitch counts, as you mentioned. Shallow center. Colwick's called off by Bradfield, who makes the catch, and Rocker pitches around the one out double. 2-1 from Jake Schrand. Rip to left. Homer number one for 2021 belongs to Isaiah Thomas. I think I got my fireworks. <laughs> Fox, I mean, take a look at this pitch. It's not a bad pitch. It was actually supposed to be on the outside corner, but it ran back in. Yeah, he didn't get cheated on that distance. <laughs> Nolan bunts this one. Is it going to stay fair? Heck yeah. <laughs> 1-0 to Colwick, lined up the middle, Dews is there, flip to second for one, on to first, double play. Nice pick by Angland on the tail end. 3-0 pitch, ball four. Some fastball misses there, Andrew. Ball four. Back-to-back -back walks, and after two base runners in the first four innings, Rockers walk two straight. Trip through here in the second. This one smoked out into right for a base hit. Thomas picks it up. Throw coming home, and the bases are loaded. Full header. Another one, two. Called strike three. Went front door with the heater. Popped up. Left side, drifting out of play. But caught by Rodriguez. That fell back into CJ. Five round MLB draft last summer. He bunts this one towards third. Tough play for Black. Safe at first. Enrique Bradfield Jr. has his first collegiate hit on a perfectly placed bunt. I guess I'll say you better get there. <laughs> he goes again. Throw to second. Safe. Bradfield's got his first steal. En route. 
Hit hard out to center. Hamilton at the wall. Home run! Welcome back, Jason Gonzalez! He may take a look at this pitch. A fastball on the upside, sorry, the outside corner. Up in the zone. Good extension. Really push even more players in that direction. Right. Schran gets the strikeout. A two sons now. Mm -hmm. Javi and Manny. Young goes down swinging. Back to back strikeouts for Jake Schran. For the full count offering. Called strike three. Good breaking ball from Jake Schrand. He struck out three straight. Ball four. So Wright State's best bat is aboard to start the sixth again. More 12 to six rather than across the, the plate. Strike three, back pick, safe over there. Type stuff. Grounder to short, Carter Young takes the play to first. And Keegan can't hang on. Two balls, two strikes on Piotto. Hit him, base is loaded with two down. He has not allowed an earned run in his collegiate career. 2-2, two -two. line right to Colwick at second. Perfectly positioned. Chalk that one up to the spray charts. Wright State leaves the bases loaded for the second straight inning. He was still playing behind the base. Out to right, Greenwell back, still going back and off the wall. Extra bases for Thomas. Misplayed by Greenwell out in the outfield, and Thomas has three. Another full count. There's ball four. Ends. 1 0 to Keegan. Grounded towards short. Thomas coming home. Throw to the plate. Safe. Thomas sneaks in to make it 6 0. Short stop. This is going to be close, and we have an umpire initiated review. I Seeing as they review this play, Jeff Wright and Corey Simpson inside the third base dugout looking. Safe at home. Call stands. Ball four. Bradfield wins the freshman on freshman battle, and they're loaded for Gonzalez. Here's a one, two. Did it hit him? Yeah, it did. Seven, nothing. Shirk to Jack Bolger. Chop towards second, McConnell charges, tags Gonzalez, throw to first. Great double play. What? We'll see, they may be saying he missed the tag. Uh, chopper right here to McConnell. Yeah, second base umpire Corey Simpson said no tag on Jason Gonzalez. And it looks like they called it. Oh, no yeah. video review necessary. The umpires changed the call themselves. So the sixth inning is over. Vanderbilt scores twice. It's pretty good. He swung. <laughs> Randy Hunley takes the call himself. Concrete. And for eight years, it was really fast. And it was all because of us. So we apologize. Black pops this one up. Gonzalez makes the catch. Moral of the story, the last four years, the starting shortstop has been almost always the same guy. And that's why we think it'll be Carter Young for at least another couple years. Swing and a miss. Jake Shirk looking good with the off speed. One, two to Thomas. Strike three. Back to back strike. Got taken out. Nolan lines this one to left. Alders can't make the catch. Vandy makes it 8 0 on an RBI double by Parker Nolan. Or he knew it was foul from the get go. <laughs> <laughs> Grounds this one to second. McConnell's there. On to first 10 the inning. Those guys do a really good job of putting together a lot of the spray charts and putting those guys in good position. Jay Lucart bats for Garrig Anglin and deposits a single into left. In sequence with different pitches, what's going to work? for different guys. Digs deep for the fastball. COVID freshman, as many would say. Hit hard out to left. Hewitt started in, now goes back towards the wall and off the wall. Sass comes through with the big hit, and Wright State's on the board. Is in there. Does he have a President's Day tree? <laughs> or a little. They have arm injuries. 
But obviously a very serious medical condition that he got taken care of and cleared to play a few months later last spring. And that one's lost in right field by Sayre. And Keegan's got extra bases. Going for third, safe there. Playable because of all the snow and ice that was down. Bradfield lines this one into right field. First college RBI for Vanderbilt's lone. Plus defense, good job on the bases too. Likes to steal bases. Vanderbilt's fastest runner. That's ball four. They're loaded with one down. And Rodriguez is next for the Vandy boys. Got him in the back of the neck, it looked like. Makes it 10-1. A home run and a triple with a couple of strikeouts. And now a single up the middle. Vanderbilt continues to add on. On a two-run single by Isaiah Thomas. The one-two. Called strike three. Tabling finally gets the breaking ball. Hewitt hit by a pitch. Young walked. Rodriguez hit by a pitch. And Thomas an RBI single. This could get Wright State out of the inning. Up the middle, McConnell can't handle it. Another drop ball and another run for Vandy. Rodriguez and Thomas both score. Casas batting in place of Keegan. Chops the first pitch he sees right back to Hot. Over to first for the out. Got delayed and then uh, suspended. As we see, it eventually canceled it and then woke up the next day and the whole world changed. Do singles out to Leneve in left field. 2-2 from Chris McElvain to Daniel Marlano. Called strike three. Strikeout number five for McElvain. Popped up to right center. Cal Hewitt shields his eyes from the sun and makes the catch. Vandy boys win the 2021 opener. 14-1 over Wright State.